Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Curb Appeal, the series on my channel where I attempt to recreate photographs in The Sims 4. So if you guys want to submit a photo for me to recreate, you can feel free to DM me on Twitter or Instagram or you can also join the Discord server and we have a channel called Curb Appeal Inspo where people can submit photos and I will choose one to recreate. It's also a good server if you guys are looking for build inspiration as well. Well, there's a lot of good photos that everyone has submitted in the community that you can find something to build whenever you're stuck. So that will all be linked down below if you're interested in joining um, my Discord server or following me on any of my socials, all linked down below. So today's a special episode and I'll pop the photo of what we're trying to recreate up on the screen right here right now. So as you can see, we are building a Japanese inspired modern home. But today's a special episode because I am not using the new Sims 4 Snowy Escape expansion pack. So if you guys are not familiar with that pack, it is a kind of Japanese inspired pack, which means that we got a lot of design and architectural assets that will make a really nice Japanese home. The world is kind of based in Japan, which is lovely, but I thought it'd be cool to make a Japanese home for those people who maybe weren't able to get their hands on the pack or aren't able to get the pack right now for whatever reason, but still want a fun modern Japanese home. This home is for you guys. So hopefully if you guys are looking for a home like this, this will be good for you, but I actually built this before the pack came out, so I kind of just wanted to get like excited for the new pack, so I built this quite a while ago, and it's just taken me ages to edit and upload, so hopefully if you guys have been waiting for this and you saw me build it on Twitch, you guys, hopefully it's worth the wait, <laughs> but the home is actually a real home in Australia, and it's called House Azumi, so Pretty much the architects and the designers of this home wanted to merge contemporary design and architectural style with traditional Japanese and this is kind of what they came up with and I think it looks really perfect. I mean, it definitely gives off the Japanese look with the color scheme and even the roof pieces and even the contrast between like the white and the black and the natural rich red wood on the garage door with a lot of nice greenery and landscaping. I think those aspects definitely do give off a kind of Japanese vibe, but then with the large open windows as well, with the black trimming also kind of ties in nicely with a more contemporary and modern style. Um, but I think that it just looks really nice and it doesn't have to go in the new um, world with Snowy Escape. I think that this home would look good in Newcrest is where I'm building it, or literally anywhere. It's just a nice modern home. So I really love it. It really caught my eye. And I also really love that it's only one story. <laughs> you guys know I love my one story homes. I just have so much trouble with stair configurations. I don't know why. It might be because I make my floor plans too small and then I end up having trouble placing stairs but I just have the hardest time in the world with configuring stairs. I don't know why, it's just, I don't, I don't enjoy it personally. Like, I think ladders was the best thing to ever come <laughs> to the game because you can just have, like, a one-tile passageway from the first floor to the second floor, which is lovely, whereas, whereas, like, stairs will just take up so much space. So, I don't know. Let me know if you guys also have that same struggle with stairs. Maybe it's just me. I just always have issues with that so i really do love one story homes for that reason they're just easy to build and furnish and play in as well and i think that now that we have the new platform tool we can add a lot of cool dimension in a one story home without needing stairs so unfortunately this was built before platforms came out so i didn't end up getting to use platforms in the speed build however you'll see in the screenshots at the end i end up adding some more dimension to different rooms with platforms um, but yeah here you can see i'm just kind of doing the landscaping you can see that i deviated from the photo slightly and made the landscaping a little bit more lush whereas in the photo it's quite minimalistic but I just feel like sometimes in The Sims, to really bring your build to the next level, 
it's all about making that really lush landscaping and that's what I felt like doing this time. You guys know that I don't always make it exact to the photo. Sometimes I deviate when I see necessary in order to make it a little bit more my style and a little bit more what I'm looking for. So here you can see I am doing the pond. I'm just adding a bunch of rocks around the pond just to hide that edge. Oftentimes the pond feature will leave kind of harsh edges so it's always good to line the pond with some like low-lying grass or some plants or even some rocks. So the front of the home and the front facade is pretty much done and we're just kind of working on the back of the home and stuff like that but I do want to point out that the kind of main window that really brought the recreation to life was the spot a windows so those are those big black modern windows that have like the horizontal lines in them those are from spot a and they're just so perfect and accurate to the photograph and I think that without those I don't know if I could have gotten the photograph as accurate as I did. So thank you so much, Spa Day. Spa Day definitely is one of the best packs if you're looking for like modern items. And it's one of those packs where you don't even need to build a spa and those items are still great. Like I have never built a spa before, but I still use Spa Day all the time. So definitely a really good game pack if you guys are looking for some cool modern items and you kind of like the same build style or furnishing style as me i would highly recommend spa day or even fitness stuff pack moschino all of those are really really great so here you can see on the back of the home i am building this cool kind of like platformed area um, with a pond just to make it very zen and very like tranquil out here a nice place to come out and relax so I think it was M in my chat as well as I think Nick that helped me kind of bring this to life I did build this on twitch if I didn't mention this before so a lot of you guys contributed your great ideas to this build but yeah, it's kind of just like a nice area. It's not like, it's like a little deck. It's not too high off the ground, but it's really nice. And there's some fountains and stuff just so you can come out here and have a nice time, read a book, you know, meditate, whatever you want to do out here. But I think it'd be so cool to have a nice big deck like this in your backyard, even to just come out and have your morning coffee. Honestly, amazing. I would love to have that. So here you can see I actually decided to use the new, is it a pergola? Is that what it's called? It came with the new base game update. Um, I feel like a month or two ago, I haven't had a chance to use it, but I thought that it would just, it just fits so perfectly here. This also was a chat member's uh, suggestion to try the pergola and it honestly, I didn't think it was going to work, but then it just slotted in perfectly into that little opening back there and I just couldn't not use it just because it just fits so perfectly and I thought I added some cool dimension to the back here added some extra greenery added some extra wood tones which I think all tied in very nicely to the color scheme and and yeah sometimes those items that you don't think are gonna work like why would you add a pergola it's like a modern Japanese home and then you bring it out and it's like oh it looks really great <laughs> so sometimes you just have to test things even if you don't think it's going to work out but here i am now onto the interior and we are working on the kitchen so for the kitchen i had a very specific idea in mind i wanted it to be clean and neutral and minimalistic so i definitely went for the island living counters just like plain white counters with minimal cabinetry on the bottom and then instead of doing cabinets all around the top, I ended up going for this open shelving with minimal cabinets on the far left and right side. So I think that it adds the necessary storage that you need without making it look too messy with cabinets all around the entire thing. And I also wanted the color scheme to be very muted and like yeah just like neutral and muted but not neutral in the way that I usually do it with like some browns and some pops I wanted it to be very like gray almost and yeah I don't really know what I was thinking um yeah, it was a long time ago when I built this to be honest but I, I'm watching this back and I do really like how it turns out um I just wanted to go for that minimalist vibe just because I know a lot of Japanese homes and a lot of Japanese kind of design styles can be a little bit more 
neutral, minimalist, and that kind of thing. So here I'm just adding the necessary appliances and then cluttering up the shelves a little bit. Oh, also, if you guys didn't realize, there's a photo or a picture in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, I had it up on stream and I forgot to like take it off in the recording. So it recorded with that photo the whole time. That is a piece of fan art that my lovely subscriber M uh, drew for me. So I just had it displayed during the stream. So it's here for the whole, it's here for like 75% of the video because I did some of this speed build off camera, but thank you so, so, so much M for making that for me. I think it looks so awesome. Um, it's a photo or it's a recreation of my profile photo, I think, from when I was at EA Play in 2019. Um, I wore like that Sims Moschino swimsuit and my hair used to be blonde and I had like a little jacket on and stuff like that but it looks so accurate I mean like that's exactly my outfit and my hair color and everything my lip color too so Emma is so so talented thank you so much Em I really appreciate that so your lovely work of art gets to be displayed for this entire video so i hope you guys like it and leave her nice compliments on her beautiful work down below if you guys also have any like fan art or like pieces of art you want to share with me i do have a channel in my discord server called fan art so if you want to submit anything for whatever reason i mean i don't expect you guys to that's definitely i wouldn't expect that but if you happen to then you can feel free to do that in the discord server so the kitchen is now complete um i just kind of added some little items and stuff like that and now we're working on the living room so this is again spa day those spa day couches just coming in hot Spa day is a great, spa day I think just it fully fits the vibe of what I was trying to go for here. Just like kind of gray, neutral, minimalistic. I really like how the spa day couch is kind of, it kind of looks like the the frame of the couch is like concrete almost or like some sort of metal or something that's not super cushiony because I was definitely going for a little bit more of a like some elements of concrete contrasting against dark, rich wood tones and then other blacks and whites and color just like splashed here and there. So you can see on the walls, I ended up going for like a concrete on the entire wall just to go, just to like capture that. Um, I don't, I for some reason just can't get my words right today, but I just wanted it to have that cold vibe almost. Like the walls are cold, the the place feels cold and gray, but then you have these elements such as this white fluffy rug where your feet just hit it and you feel all nice and warm and you know what I mean? Does that, are you guys catching my vibe, my drift? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. It's, it's a weird day, but if you guys are having a good weekend. Happy Thanksgiving if you guys had a good Thanksgiving weekend. If you guys are American, if you're not American, hope you had a normal weekend. I'm not American. I celebrated Canadian Thanksgiving like weeks ago. So, but yeah, I know a lot of you guys are American. So I hope you guys had a really great Thanksgiving. Um, but here you can see, uh, instead of doing like a TV console, I thought it'd be cool to kind of like tie in the kitchen concepts of that open shelving and then bring those shelves over underneath the TV here as well. It definitely adds to the minimalistic look of having like less furniture touching the ground and instead having these shelves kind of elevated off the ground where there's a bunch of books and stuff like that. And it definitely frames the TV space nicely without having too much like furniture there. So I thought that was a nice idea, especially with these open concept spaces, like how my kitchen flows into my living room. It's really challenging sometimes with open concept because you have to make everything cohesive. It's almost like you have to treat it as one room. So you have to keep the vibe consistent throughout those places, even though they're technically different rooms, it's all in one room. So you have to kind of use techniques and use color schemes that will tie in nicely together because it should flow properly um so yeah that's why that's kind of what i was trying to do with the shelving there to kind of like bring the shelving from the kitchen also underneath the tv so it matches in some way so here you can see i'm doing the dining room and the dining room i 
agonized over for way too long so I ended up cutting out so much of it but I just couldn't get the color scheme correct it just felt so I don't know I just it, I had lost whatever I was trying to do here so I ended up settling for something in the end you'll see it kind of come together and I do end up liking it but it was interesting it was definitely interesting. I don't usually do these closed off dining spaces, which is why I kind of struggled with it. I usually have my dining space kind of like open in between the living room and the kitchen. You guys know me and my open concept vibes. So this this um, closed off dining space just really wasn't, I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> but I ended up using those chairs from the Lunar New Year um, base game update from a while ago. So I know those look very like, Chinese to me so I don't know if it would also work in like a Japanese home but I figured perhaps this family that lives here could be like kind of like a blended family so maybe like one parent is Japanese one parent is Chinese so they kind of have inspiration of styles from both because I definitely see those chairs as like the chairs that I would see in a typical Chinese restaurant um, I'm Chinese, by the way, if you guys didn't know. Um, so I don't know if I've seen, I don't know if those are Japanese traditional looking chairs, but I don't know if anybody is Japanese. You can let me know if those are like traditional as well. Um, but yeah, I ended up, you see, I settled on whatever I did for the the dining room and it it is what it is. Sometimes you just have those blocks where you don't, you can't quite get a room right and you just have to like move on but in this case my chat really helped me through it and we decided on something that was nice and here i'm also doing the bathrooms so somebody in the chat told me that there's a interesting characteristic of japanese bathrooms where they will have like a water closet where the toilet is in a separate area in a separate room so i decided to um, try and represent that properly in these bathrooms where i have a separate little two by one square rectangle for the toilet so just a small little detail like that again i use a spa day toilet see spa day just coming in clutch for this whole entire build um if you want to download this build and you don't have spa day it might just not look the same so <laughs> i highly recommend you have spa day if you want to download this and yeah so thank you i think it was nick that ended up telling me about the little characteristic of having the water closet so thank you for letting me know that just so i can make my homes as accurate as possible however i think the fact that this is kind of like a modern fusion type of a design home we can get away with kind of having a little bit of freedom here and there um i ended up adding a little uh little piano here just to fill the space there i was thinking of either putting a piano like a grand piano or putting like a little breakfast table but i figured it'd be cool to have maybe some more activity building skills um and have a piano there instead so here you can see i'm working on the master bedroom so it's funny i ended up putting these i think are these spotty again the spotty little rug things um i wanted to kind of emulate like tatami mats this was before i knew we were getting tatami mats in the actual game so i kind of just like layered them just to kind of give that like feel of a different kind of like bamboo texture or something underneath your feet i don't really know i just felt that it looked kind of interesting and cool um and i just kind of layered those to make it a different section i think had we had platforms by then it would have been cool to also raise the bed section up on a platform as well so if you do end up getting this downloading this feel free to do that if you want to and then i just have like a little reading nook um i used the city living bed and the curtains and they have like a cool pattern on it that to me feels japanese inspired i feel like i've seen that pattern on a lot of like curtains in like japanese restaurants so to me that felt like a good kind of bedspread to use and i also really like the color scheme of like this blue color mixed with this like warm toned wood so i tried to have those similar tones put around the room and then also combine it with some greenery and stuff like that just to have like similar color schemes very natural color schemes and then you know elements of the environment like greenery so 
I really like that room. I think it's very simple, very minimalistic, but also has everything you need. So here we are working on the teen girls bedroom. So I added a little bit more personality to this teen girls bedroom than the other one, the other one, the master bedroom is a little bit more like minimal and just like simple. This one I added a little bit more clutter and stuff like that. So at first I was going for, I was trying to use these city living couches as like a headboard, but then I figured I would keep it a little bit more simple and just use the tiny living poofs as end tables and add in like little purple elements there. So pretty much I figured that this teen girl is like maybe in college or in high school so they have a desk but they're really into fashion and like music and stuff like that so I gave them that nice lit up full length mirror from parenthood I also gave them a bunch of um like clothing racks from Moschino I put a bunch of Moschino magazines everywhere and I also gave her a freezer bunny guitar and a nice little amp from the Moschino stuff pack as well. So I think overall this bedroom is super, super cute and just very colorful, very happy. I think even though it's like concrete walls, I made it feel quite warm and quite happy with all the nice little colors and the purples and the pinks and the and the turquoises so I really had fun doing this bedroom I think that I would definitely like this bedroom for myself in real life it just feels very functional it's really large and I just I love that fluffy rug from city living it's just like my favorite thing in the world and it just makes anything look cozy and nice even if you have concrete walls or exposed brick or whatever it is, put that fluffy rug on the ground and all of a sudden everything's cozy and your feet are happy and it doesn't matter about anything else in the world. <laughs> so um, now we're done the bedrooms and we're pretty much almost finishing up the bills. I just put a little like bookcase reading nook into this little corner here just because I didn't have anything here i was considering putting a desk so if you do want to sub this out for a desk you can feel free to do so but i figured i'd just put like a little bookcase felt like a nice little place to read and yeah uh overall i think that this home is really cool it's super neutral in the main common areas and then in the bedrooms there's a little bit more color which i really like and i like how the bedrooms are super large and overall this floor plan is just very like it flows really nicely and it's neutral and I don't know I think it's a really nice house and if you want to renovate it you can feel free to do so too but I think the floor plan overall is really nice and I really like it and I hope that it satisfies your guys' need for a modern Japanese home especially if you weren't able to get your hands in the pack I definitely want to be like as inclusive as possible because I know that not everyone can get the brand new pack right on the day of launch or sometimes it takes like a year for people to get new packs because we can't all just like get them immediately so hopefully you will enjoy this build and use it if you need to and let me know if you do end up downloading it but anyways the screenshots should be rolling which means the video is now done thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and leave me a comment down below what you guys thought about it how well did this recreation turn out rate my recreation skills out of 10 and also feel free to submit any photos you want me to recreate next in a future episode of curb appeal but if this is our first time meeting don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more sims 4 videos i love you guys so much and i will see you guys all in my next video bye everybody